This is my window I got there. Got another aloe there in a different pot. I like that pot there. Sorry about the log. That's the pot there. I have another cactus there. I believe that is a, uh, I'll post the name. It's a regular sense of era. Cactus, spider plant, and a uh, pencil hybrid. Pencil cactus hybrid. This is what you're looking at now. See if we get better light. This is a bird of paradise which is huge. I actually split this in three. She's been doing pretty well. I know I'm not gonna get any blooms because I don't bring it outside. I have actually one outside and my other one I gave away to a friend of mine. So I had one plant and I divided it. it wasn't that bad, I did that with a shovel and wasn't that bad. Under here, that's my um, pothos, variegated, and my monstera. I would love to see take off, which is taking off pretty good. I just, like I said, I did a video on that. You check that out. I'm twisting it so you can catch that. Uh, this is like a southwest facing window, which. The seals are brown, that's where I'm getting the fog. I need my fig tree, fiddle lift fig. This is the setup I got here. Humidifier. I usually put that on a low. It lasts two days basically, but oh let me show you my little J plants here from Leaves that have cut off. I got my jade outside. That was from another plant. Actually, I didn't do too well on another succulent, but the leaves lived on. This is my watering station. It's about a gallon or two of water it holds, but I just feed hold the water overnight to get rid of the chlorine and water my plants with it. Another Sansevieria cylindrica in the kitchen. Doing pretty good. Ikea once again. This right there is my uh, zebra plant. I'm watering it now and it likes high light. I'm just having it in there because I'm watering it, but I'm gonna bring it out to the window again. That's a zebra plant. My air plant. These are all the cuttings or the leaves that have dropped that I'm regrowing. You see some of them are taken off, they're ready to get potted. I just need to get born pots. This guy is a leaf. You can see the roots taking off. It's coming and going, guys. Coming and going. This guy needs to get out of here. Another cute guy there. Cute guy there. And that's to my uh, string of pearls that is outside. I'm bringing it back. We're going to do a video of that. I'll show you what that looks like later. Because it did horribly inside. I don't think it was getting enough light and or water. But I left it outside and let nature do its thing. And she's coming back slowly but surely. Because actually it was a full plant I got that I actually bought full price. 
it's like the full price plants that I buy. I don't do dwell with, but the ones that I get discounted, for some reason, they come back beautifully. And I wind up losing the ones that are regular price. <laughs> some of them, just not all of them, some of them. Because everybody kills plants. Everybody does that. Don't, don't, I don't sweat it. Everybody's done it. Every gardener's done it. This is what I pot with. It's not expensive. It's uh, organic, happy frog with mycorrhiza and other great nutrients. Um, $6.99 for a 13.2 liter bag. Um, I did most of my plants with that after I, you know, bring it from the garden center. I just take them back, take them out, repot them with this stuff, with a little bit of um, perlite for drainage, um, sand, and some of the plants. Most of my succulents, cactuses, put a little sand in there. But this stuff drains pretty well, and also has mycorrhiza bacteria that'll help the uh, plant thrive and give it what it needs to survive. And all the plants pretty much like it. I love it too. Happy Frog. Happy Frog. That's, that's my plants, guys. Thanks for watching Gerard's Neighborhood. Probably doing another video soon. But please subscribe. I'll be uh, giving you some tips and tricks on what to do to buy discounted plants and bring them back to life. You just give them that positive energy with some TLC and they'll be all right. Oh, I forgot this other guy. So that hybrid aloe, which is a rescue I got last week. You can see little burn marks on them. It wasn't doing too well. But we'll see if we can bring it back. I repotted it. And it looks like it's pretty happy with me. I'm kind of interested in the hybrid plants and see how they do that. But, uh make it a hybrid because it's an aloe with something else and then, you know there's a lot of hybrids coming out but that's all right but uh once again thanks for watching and uh please subscribe